So today's lesson is based around liquidity, guys. And all I'm going to do is try and keep things super, super simple. So the first thing you have to identify is, firstly, you know, what is liquidity? Okay. Now, liquidity equals money. Okay, that is money that is injected into the markets. Okay, that is the most simple term. When you think of it, you've got five to eight trillion dollars of money, liquidity being traded and injected around the markets every single day in the Forex industry. Okay, not the crypto, not the stocks, not the shares in the Forex so liquidity really is the key to your success knowing where it is knowing why the market moves in certain ways and then the next question you have to ask is where is liquidity found so where is liquidity found in the markets so liquidity is found, I'm just going to change the color of that so it makes it a little bit more attractive. Now, as price pushes higher, it makes a high, it makes a low, it moves in cycles. Okay, it moves in cycles. And liquidity is going to be found in key areas in here. So, in this here at the moment, you've got liquidity at this low, you're going to have liquidity at this low. You're going to have liquidity at this low and you're also going to have liquidity at this high here now you would have had liquidity here but price took that on the range up so that there is a liquidity grab just as the same here you've not got liquidity there anymore because we've had a liquidity grab but we have got liquidity in these areas here in the lows because price has not yet taken these areas out. So the places you can find liquidity within highs and lows. Okay, so just like on a bearish market, if I do another one here, you're gonna find liquidity let me move that now liquidity is going to be found at this high and at this high now you're not going to have liquidity here because that there was taken out you're also not going to have liquidity here because price was taken out so there's no liquidity at that low, no liquidity at that low. So when price is trending down, we can see liquidity at these highs here. So typically what we like to see is when price is going to reverse to the upside from this area here, price will have a habit of breaking structure. And then what you might find is that liquidity comes even lower, is that the price comes even lower to break this structure here because there's now liquidity under here so it takes out both sides of the liquidity and then it might push higher so it takes out liquidity so where else can we find liquidity within the markets okay we can find the markets in areas of price action when it's doing this so when it's moving side to side up and down and that there is called consolidation right there and right there so when you see this sort of pattern happening here what you have got is equal lows and equal highs so there is money being injected into the markets and what this essentially is is people forming opinions there's no bias at the moment because it's just making swing high swing low equal highs equal lows so this is where we can find liquidity.
And then typically what you wait to happen, if we're looking to go bullish, price will come lower and then come higher before it does anything. So it breaks structure, but not before it's taken out this area here. And then we can identify areas to get into the market for buys. Exactly the same on sales, but opposite. So we can see these areas here moving. And then we can see liquidity has been identified right here. And then what we look for when we're looking to sell price is that this consolidation line is broken. This then breaks structure to the downside. And then we look for sales. So you wait for this liquidity to be taken. This liquidity then gets taken. Giving us evidence of sales. So where else can we find liquidity? Consolidation. Okay. Now, other areas we can find liquidity on the actual trend line itself. So there's liquidity here, there's liquidity here, there's liquidity here. Before I do anything, let me say this because this is going to go straight into the Telegram group. Okay. Let's just save that. And I'm going to save that. Just there. So. We know there's liquidity here, but essentially what you can do is call this a trend line. Now, a lot of people say the trend is your friend, but in a lot of cases, the trend is most certainly not your friend because there's very well known strategies where traders look to get in on the next cycle. So then what tends to happen is price breaks that level there, giving us our break of structure to then take price higher because it has to come back into this area to mitigate and then price moves lower. Taking out this trend line in the meantime. So that there is a very simple way of where you can find liquidity. Likewise on here, when you've got this trend line forming right here, a lot of the time you'll notice price breaking structure, taking out that trend line, Coming back to mitigate to then go higher. So we've got another liquidity grab within the structure. And we've actually taken out this liquidity here. And then we've pushed higher, taken out this liquidity here to then come higher. Hopefully, you know, we're making sense so far. And again, I am just going to save this just so we've got it. I'm going to save that one there just so we've got it. So other areas we can find liquidity in the markets. If price starts breaking structure, you can also find liquidity in the form of something called imbalance. Now imbalance is very simply, if you've got this down candle here, let's move that, you know, up here. And let's say, you know, we're pushing higher. So that's going to be green just because that represents the up move. I'm going to change that one there to green just to represent the up move. And then let's say we get an aggressive push down. Maybe here, red move, just like that. So I'm going to highlight that there, red. And let's say we wick down to where this area here is. And then, you know, we've got another area right here. So these are, these are candles I'm drawing at the moment. And then we've got another candle, just like that. But then we've got this wick, which ends here. When you see gaps like this form, that is liquidity. Okay, that is liquidity. So that there is your imbalance. So we can highlight this area here as imbalance. And all that is, is price action, institutional areas are left because we have to come back to mitigate into these areas here to then come even lower. So that there is imbalance and it is literally liquidity. That's where we find money in the markets.
it does not get any more simple than that. So where else can we find liquidity? Imbalance. And we're going to go over loads of examples, guys. We're going to we're going to do this in the charts, so don't worry. And I am just going to make sure that we save this. So again, we've got this as well. So that there is really where we can identify areas of liquidity. Now, on the entire trend and things like that, you've got liquidity. There are a lot, you know, we can go deeper and deeper and deeper into it. But these are the only real things you need to know at this stage in terms of where we can actually find areas of liquidity and how we can use them in the markets. So as an example, if we are trading and we see, for example, we've got this here happening. And then we start selling. If you want to sell here, you are risking that area there. Because we have got an area where price could potentially reach. Now, the reason this is risky is because that there is equal highs. That there is liquidity. So that there is a red flag against your trade. So you do not want to be taking trades like that. Does that make sense, guys? If there is anything... That we need to know obviously let me know and let's so over some examples so i know there's liquidity on this monthly time frame on gold we're in the right one Three monthly time frame daily time frame so we've actually taken liquidity here so what we can see price action took this liquidity right here huge liquidity grabs and if I actually invert this back, what can we see here? Equal highs, that there is liquidity. And we can see price is filling up this imbalance to push higher. You know, areas here, this imbalance here represents liquidity. This area here, imbalance, represents liquidity. What we can see here is these equal highs, liquidity, right there. If we go into another chart, so we can see here, you know, just looking at this daily area here, we can see that we're kind of trending higher now, just like that. Now, areas you can potentially find liquidity, you know, right here, liquidity, liquidity. And then what's interesting, is when you look over here, we've got this trend line. Do you know how many traders would have got in here for buys? And what happens? Price comes lower. Taking out this trend line here. The trend is not your friend. It's important to remember that because trend lines aren't always reliable. That's why we wait for extra things uh, like distribution, accumulation, things like that. So we wait for certain things to happen. You know, um, we can see here right now what happened here. We had this liquidity right here. Relative equal lows. Price comes lower, sweeps this low, but respects this candle here. That there is a liquidity grab where price ran to the upside respecting this structure here and we are still pushing higher what have we left right here this huge area here from this wick to this wick is a huge amount of imbalance that there is imbalance that there is a magnet for price so i would expect price at some point to fill this in you know, let's go on to another chart. We can have a look at loads and loads and loads of examples, even on like the one hour. And this happens for any single time frame. So look at here. What happened right here? Liquidity. Equal highs. What happened if we scroll all the way to the left, to the right, sorry? Price perforates through it and falls. 
So we push higher and then sells. So liquidity is the target. What can we see right here? This trend line that's been formed. And what happened? Liquidity was taken. This trend line was completely evaporated. All due to because what's going on in here is manipulation. This here is people buying when they see the cycle, buying when they see the cycle, because they've got confirmation on that with their rules that price is moving higher. But actually, this is creating a trend, forming more and more liquidity. And then you expect to see things like that, all of this liquidity, all these stop losses that have been resting under here have been taken out. You know, it's really quite incredible. We have right here, this high taken, this area here, perforates through it, sells off. This area here, taken, perforates through it, sells off. You know, it really is quite incredible when you can identify areas of liquidity. And what I would do, you know, if you are practicing, the first thing and probably the most important thing is that you just go on the charts, even if you're on the higher time frames, because it works on every single pair and just identify any area of liquidity you can find. You should have this cursor with the lines here. So you should be able to create straight lines and you should be able to just travel down and find any area of liquidity. So and it doesn't have to be, you know, perfect equal highs and things like that. But this here, this area here, I would consider liquidity, even though we've got the little bits of spikes going through. Um, you know, you've got liquidity at this high here, right there. We've got these equal highs forming here. So that there is liquidity. All you need to do is just go around the charts and identify these areas. We've got loads of liquidity here to the upside. And get good at identifying liquidity. When you're doing a top-down analysis, which is... If you want to know about top-down analysis, there's videos of that on this channel, on the YouTube channel. I've broken down pairs. And I've shown you how to do a top-down analysis. The first question you have to ask yourself all the time is where is the money? Where is liquidity? Because you can use liquidity to help you with entries or you can use liquidity as targets. Because the, bar the markets target liquidity and when we see liquidity sweeps when we see something like this happen let's draw it out when we see something like this happen and then this we've had a liquidity sweep here we're going to get in here that's your pattern that is exactly what we're looking to do hopefully this here is making sense we'll look at a few more examples of where we can find uh, liquidity right here so already I've found it right there uh, there's liquidity coming in here pretty low so relatively equal lows you know we can go maybe to a higher time frame and have a look and just scour your way through the markets guys but right here huge huge equal lows you know, equal loads are the easier ones to find. But that there is just money. Right under there. So many people are there. Okay, so many people are going to be there. Okay, and this is the thing is the reason we target liquidity is because retail traders use these areas here as entries. So right here now, you can identify this trend line. How many people would have got in for sales right here? Because what a retail, and this is the trait, this is the what I was taught previously, was wait for one cycle, wait for a second cycle, and then get in on the third cycle. And then take price lower. That was what I, that was the retail way that I was taught to start with. Okay. We can literally move that up. Can you see? How many people are in here now? That is a strategy. Hundreds of thousands and millions of people, whatever, will learn to trade. And they'll wonder why they're inside the 98% of people that are losing money. Because when they get in on this cycle, 
they're taking out the markets and price has gone in their direction anyway price has come back up to mitigate to then take us even lower that is how beautiful price action is guys okay that is how stunning price action can be again i can just highlight that area there and i'll save this so it is there on the on the group and we've got the break of structure there's your entry right there i'll get rid of that i'll do that one break of structure right there So, you know, potential areas now, you know, we could look maybe on the indices of things, get rid of all this. And what can we see happening on the daily time frame? So right here now, S&P, this high was taken. It was respected. Price dropped lower. Price has come back into this area now. That there is your point of interest. Price is selling off. All because you've used this here as a liquidity grab. It's as simple as that, guys. Hopefully, this has made sense. And if you need anything or if you have any questions, please let me know. But guys, that there wraps up your liquidity session. These, these uh, images will be there for you inside the um, Telegram group. So yeah, well done guys.